uh, in the name of Allah and welcome to the next video from NV tutorials from this channel uh, so in this video I'm going to show you how to mosaic or how to combine uh, two pieces of the image or two satellite images so uh, for this case I'm going to uh, show you two images here I have two Lancet GM images here and uh, already downloaded I'm going to uh, mosaic these two images first of all I'm going to extract these two images and show you how to mosaic this type of image in the environment of the NV just wait for a few minutes here all the tools and features are available here whenever you want to use uh, one of these features you don't have to look through the folders or through these tools just only you can type here uh, mosaic and you can get the tools here we have two type of mosaics now we see how do these tools work so through the open as and Lancet, Lancet g 2 if and Lancet 5 uh, metadata and open as again I'm going to open uh, the next image of the Lancet TM <coughs> Here. and you can see that two images uh, are available here for mosaicing now you see these two lines of TM images uh, whenever <coughs> you you're going to extract some uh, features for a um, specific location and you see a single image <coughs> does not fit exactly your site area maybe you need two or more than two images to be mosaic to cover your site area uh, for example I'm going to import my stand area here to see as you see here Your study area fits into these two images. And a single image is not able to fit your study area. Then you need to use more than one image. So it's better to remove this black area before mosaicing uh, your image. So you can remove by applying radiometric collaboration. I apply a radiometric collaboration here. Uh, here we to have two multispectral ones. I'm going to select the first one. 
and I'm going to use the reflectance and here I'm going to save this one reflectance TM and I save this image so now this is completed and radiometric calibration for the first image is applied so if I uncheck this now you can see there is no dark background around this image and I'm going to apply this radiometric calibration for the next image too yeah this one and reflectance TM2 we apply this and I wait this process to be evaluated too now you see here the collaboration for the next image is also evaluated now you can see these two images Layout and noise or black background here, but and these two images exactly uh, covers your study area, and uh, if we mosaic these two images. It will fit quite her study area. So now let's try mosaicing. Here you have two types of mosaicing, pixel based or seamless mosaic. Uh, you can select any of these according to your study area and according to your uh, project purpose. From here, I add uh, my images. And in these tabs, you can, you must check uh, histogram matching and uh, when, when you check histogram matching, it says overlapped area or entire scenes. If you check this one, all the image, the histogram matching will be applied uh, into all your scenes or your image. If you check this one, only the overlapped area. So for example, this area also. Uh, and the intersect of these two image uh, will get the influences of this histogram matching. If you check the next one, all the scenes in both images uh, will receive the uh, in, uh, effects or in influences of the histogram match. Uh, this part this is okay, each feathering, and the next is the an export. You can check display the result and your background value will be zero. And the method of uh, mosaicing will be nearest neighbor by linear cubic compilation. About each of them, if you have any problem about the basics of this, this is actually a part of the theory of the image processing that you can check to Google. It would be great if you understand about each of them. So you can save it. Uh, now I save this as a mosaic image. 
and okay finish it takes few minutes uh, to be mosaic first of all it calculates the footprint or the area of the sensor image then this apply the histogramic matching uh, after that your image your image gets mosaic together now the reset, uh, reset pyramid is built now so this is our mosaic image now you see all these two images are together now connected to each other now I'm going to close some of the files or data and I'm going to add this arrow right here Now we have only the mosaic image here in our data manager. Now I'm going to subset, subset this area. And I select the mosaic image. Okay, and our R our, our, our study area and I'm going to mask the area outside our study area and here I set this as TM subset okay it takes few minutes To be separated from surrounding areas now this is the complete study area that we have Thanks for watching the video and I wish you enjoy the tutorials and the videos. Thanks for being, thanks for supporting, for subscribing and for everything. Thank you.